Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Tyler was pretty chilly this morning, but not too bad right now. Yeah, it's a little warmer than the last couple days, mm -hmm. but it's going to turn chilly again. Ooh. And some of us could see a little coating of snow by tomorrow morning. So we'll take a look here at Storm Tracker and show you that any sun we had this morning has faded behind clouds, especially in the Champlain Valley. We have this batch of showers moving in. And at times it may be mixed with wet snow, especially in Essex County, New York, the highest part of the Adirondacks. But for most of us with a temperature near 50, it's just plain rain, especially in the Champlain Valley. Not raining yet in Plattsburgh, but it will be very soon. It is uh, moving through Burlington now. And as we look to the south, the upper valley has a couple showers. So does Rutland, and there is some indication there that the highest part of the Green Mountains may have some of that little wet snow mixed in, but most of this is just rain for now, though. That'll change tomorrow. I wanted to show you this neat view from the summit of Whiteface. This is the glass on the front of the camera it had some ice on it, and it looked really nice at sunrise, and now the clouds have started to thicken up with some of those rain and snow showers. So that was the time-lapse view from Whiteface. We have 39 in Saranac Lake, 48 though in Messina, 50 in Burlington. A lot of these numbers should be about the high for the day because once it starts to rain, the numbers will go down just a little bit. And I think for the Champlain Valley, most of the rain will be this afternoon. Then it's a little bit drier this evening, but we're not totally done because there'll still be some more uh, snow showers tomorrow morning. The below average weather continues and then we have to watch for a more significant system this weekend. So here's Futurecast. There's that batch of rain. It's pretty well modeled here moving through this afternoon to the north and then it settles down a little bit this evening, but there's certainly still some showers in the area and colder air comes in. So tomorrow morning there's been a pretty consistent signal for a band of snow showers over the Champlain Valley. So that should look pretty cool. And then as we go into later tomorrow, it dries out a little bit, but still Thursday morning there could be some mountain driven snow showers across Vermont. So a couple opportunities here for just a little bit of snow, especially in the higher spots. So for tomorrow, we're looking at those snow showers mid 30s to low 40s. So it's colder tomorrow. 43 will do in Burlington tomorrow, 41 in Morrisville and to the south, 35 in Peru, Vermont, 43 in Arlington. So I wanted to show you future cast snowfall. This is through tomorrow morning through about lunchtime. You'll see the indication that some of the higher spots may have a covering or an inch or two of snow, but most of us, even if there's flakes in the air tomorrow morning, it simply won't accumulate, but certainly elevation will play a role. And then on Thursday, with some of that additional mountain snow, there could be some some one or two inch reports in the Green Mountains on Thursday. Now the weekend system here is a coastal storm. It looks too warm for much in the way of snow. It's very early in the season, but it certainly has an impressive look for this time of year. May have some wet snow on Saturday, but I think it's mostly rain going into Sunday morning. So here's the five day forecast. Those snow showers tomorrow morning 43 and then slowly we start to see some sun on Thursday. 40 and then 42 on Friday. So all of those days are way below average. And there you see that storm we have to be watching for Saturday into Sunday with some rain and snow showers lingering into early next week. Alice. A new survey of Vermont.